Trina, what, what are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be away? Our trip got cut short. Weren't you and your friends having any fun? I'm not sure it could have gone any worse. Uh, my final check before I go to the big house. Should I put it on my books for ramen and postage stamps? Spence. Uh, I think you've seen too many prison movies. Who oh, needs fiction when I'm about to experience the real thing? One step at a time, okay? Your grandmother's on the way, and I'm sure some of your friends will stop by to wish you well. Yeah, I'm not holding my breath. Are there problems with your friends? Don't worry, Spence. No matter who shows up today, I'll be at Spring Ridge every week to see you. I'll do whatever you need to help you through. And then, apparently, Spencer and Esme left. Apparently? I was passed out. Trina, how much did you have to drink? Just one, I promise. I'd never had hot toddies before. Underage drinking is just ill-advised. Lesson learned. Apparently, whiskey is not my friend. Neither is Esme. From the sound of it, she had quite a hand in the night taking a turn. Did she ever? Why is that girl always nearby? And there's trouble. Uncle Victor, thank you so much for coming. Oh, please, it's a pleasure. Thank you for including me. So, how are you doing on this uh, not so celebratory occasion? I'm, uh, I'm hanging in there. Yeah. yeah, and you'll continue to do so day by day, hour by hour, minute by minute, if he has to. Mm. And listen, if uh, if you should uh, at any time feel a little out of your depth, please reach out to a guard by the name of Samuel. I've arranged for him to, well, look out for you. For real? Wow, that is um, that's amazing. I I don't know how to thank you. Oh, it's my pleasure. Victor, could I have a word, please? I yeah, uh, certainly. should make you feel a little better. Oh my God. I'm so grateful for my uncle and you for, for everyone who's trying to make this easier. I just wish you could add your friends to that list. You're not the only one that thinks Esme's trouble. Cam and Joss told Spencer that night. Do you think they got through to him? I don't know. I just still can't believe that he's into that girl. He's young. He'll learn. When? Someday. <laughs> You know, often it takes the right person to come along before someone can realize that that they should have something better. So, um, how did you leave things with Kim and Jocelyn? I, I think we're good. I told them that there are no bad feelings about them being together, even though it was awkward with the capital A. I remember how you used to feel about him. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to hear that. What? Why? No, I was honored that you shared it with me. I just hope my advice helped. It did. You told me to be honest about my feelings while also prioritizing my friendship with Joss. And? And what? <laughs> and have you been completely honest with them? 